Alright guys, so I wanted to make a video here showing how to process and refine canola oil using pretty much just integrated dynamics and its add-ons. Don't mind the garden cloches over here because the growing of it's pretty much irrelevant. You can use any mod to grow it. So the uh, canola actual growth here is being taken care of by cloches. Then it's being sent into a bunch of thermal expansion caches just for mass storage of it. So to start with, our storage here. So I've got some inventory readers on each one just so I can see how many of each kind of seed and canola we have. On the back of them here are store or item interfaces that are adding these to the integrated tunnel storage network. So they're available for everything else to use. So first, the canola gets sent over here via item exporters, set to canola, pumping it into the presses. Then fluid importers pull the canola oil out into a tank here. Then here, a fluid importer runs it into all of these interfaces on the fermenting barrels. And then down here, more interfaces. And then an exporter pumps it into the tank here. That's just a cheaper way to do it because interfaces are cheaper than importers and exporters. And then a fluid interface is on here providing access to the refined canola oil to the rest of the network. So, I guess we'll take it step by step. So first is the crystallization process. So when the system calls for crystallized seed, which, so pretty much what I'm using is a crafting writer here, set to craft item crystallized canola seed. So whenever the system runs out or specifically has a direct need for it, it will trigger that auto craft. And over here, on this crafting interface, is a recipe card that says 64 canola seeds turns into 64 crystallized seeds. So when that auto craft is triggered, it will pump 64 seeds into here. And actually, I'm going to get rid of all of the stored... I'm going to get rid of all of the stored refined oil just so we can watch it in action. I'm going to go ahead and make it a bigger tank, too. So now it should be running. So anyway, so when the items go into here, this very tiny integrated dynamics network here with an interface and then a world item exporter. So this world item exporter uh, we'll place any item in here in the world. It'll basically drop it. Um, while playing normal-like, I would probably not use this. I would probably use something like a shoot from Cork, which literally just drops any items that go into it. Or an open crate from Batania, which would do the same thing. But I wanted to show using pretty much no other mods when possible. So anyway, so it gets dropped here which we'll see that in a second here. This entity reader here gets run into this card, which it then gets the item version of it. And then there's canola seeds. And then it checks to see if it's a canola seed. Then the redstone writer here has an and that says basically, is it a canola seed? And is this redstone clock firing so that it doesn't just rapid fire fire so if I go ahead and pull the rest of these out it drops a stack and immediately picks it up with this world item importer set to crystallize canola seed so there's the crystallization process oh and if the system happens to run out of regular seeds this crafting interface on this crafting table here We'll craft them from regular canola. 
so it will be able to replenish on its own when needed. So this crap, when well, that's this crafting writer right here. So this crafting writer for empowered canola seeds. So this crafting interface here says basically 32 canola seeds and eight crystallized canola seeds turn into eight empowered canola seeds. So it goes in here, eight, at a t eight sets at a time. Then there's this item interface set to interface channel one so it doesn't interfere with all the rest of this. Then each of these has an exporter on channel one set to canola. Then this exporter set to one set to crystallized. And then an importer that goes back to the master storage network. So that's pretty much that. So any items that come in here get exported to the proper places. And then the result gets imported back into the network. Oh, so whenever that reaches zero, it does eight more. So that's kind of a slick way of doing it. Then here... Oh, there it goes. So here is a world fluid exporter. And it is exporting from fluid channel one, which is this. And then this is a world fluid importer set specifically to pick up empowered oil going to fluid channel two, which is this. Now here is a fluid reader and it's basically seeing what block fluid is set there. And then there's a definition for refined canola oil and a definition for crystallized oil. So basically we're checking, is it refined? So yeah, 63 and 61. And is it crystallized? And then there's two choice operators. And basically it says, is it refined? If so, then this card equals crystallized oil. If it's not refined, then is it crystallized? And then that refers back to this card. So is it crystallized? Then it equals empowered. Otherwise, it's just a blank item. Then that is here under place item entity. And this, I do have some specific ones. I have it set to exact amount. And I have it set to one item at a time. And then I have it set to only fire once a second. Yeah, so it's set to only try to drop an item once a second so it doesn't just spam items like crazy. And then, uh, fluid exporter, empowered oil, channel 2, into the generators. Then energy importers, back over to here. So if I were to make this cell larger, so that it's not full anymore, then these will start running and they'll start consuming oil. So if we wanted to take a look at this. So I think that would be either a fluid or a machine reader. Let's see. Let's try a fluid reader. Yep, there we go. So tank fluid, and then a display, oops, so there is 80.7 buckets of empowered oil, and that's kind of cool how it shows the animated fluid there. So every time it converts it, it goes up by a thousand, and you hear things happening over here to keep up. And it's just a, it's a nice system. So I usually treat canola oil as like a mid, early to mid level power source. So for instance, I wouldn't use these world item exporters in reality until super late game. 
I would just have, like I said, a shoot or an open crate, and then I would have like a vacuumulator. I would have one of these because you can set, you can filter what it picks up. So you can make sure that it only picks up the crystallized seed. Same for here. I would probably use a couple of modular routers, like one that would constantly dump fluid here and one that would filter or pick up just a filtered fluid. That's how I'd probably do that. And then either a chute or an open crate or another modular router or two to drop the items. So anyway, I figure I would show you guys this. It's pretty neat. Now this video does assume a basic understanding of how integrated dynamics and its add-ons work. At some point in the future I'll probably make some videos about how they exactly they work. In detail, hopefully. But it's a very complex set of mods, so it'll probably be a bit. Oh, it's actually out of oil. <laughs> this is now the bottleneck, the fermenting barrels. So yeah, I forget what exactly the ratio is for presses to fermenting barrels. But anyway, this is just a quick setup to demonstrate it. So I'll see you guys later.